Mr. Gaming here and today we are back on Roblox and we're gonna be doing a scary story named Hide and Seek and we're here with the squad. What's up, y'all? Say what's up, Tweeter. There you go, little buddy. Okay, so let's go up in this theater and see what's up with this scary story. Oh my god, there's a lot of different stories over there. Okay, the entrance is over here. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, it's that guy with the funny mustache. Okay, let's go this way. Uh-oh, I hear the music already. Entrance. Hide and seek shocking. Oh no, oh my god, no, never playing that game again. Oh my god, well, how scary can this be? Okay, it says Dan and Melanie were getting married in a week, so they invited their best friends over to Melanie's house for a party. Okay, so it's like this is Dan and Melanie right here. And they got all their closest friends over to their house because they're getting married in a week. Okay, so it says Melanie still lived in her childhood home, which was always their favorite place to hang out since they were kids. All right, so she still lives back at home. Okay, they all started talking about their favorite childhood game, Hide and Seek. Okay, so there they are chit-chatting, catching up. They decided that they had to play the game and Dan was picked to be the seeker. Okay, Dan, so it seems like Dan must be good at seeking or something since they chose him. Dan began counting to 100 as everyone ran from the room to hide. Okay, so there he is, he's counting and everybody else is running away. Okay, they're gonna go seek, I mean hide, and he's gonna go seek in about a couple of seconds. Says Dan finished counting, ready or not, here I come, he yelled loudly. Alright, Dan boy, let's see how good he really is at this game. It says, he went through the house looking for all of his friends. Okay, so here's Dan, searching through the house. Nice house, man. Dude, this house looks like it's humongous or something. Okay, um, he looked everywhere but was having a hard time finding anyone. Oh no, it seems like Dan is having trouble finding the rest of the people. Okay, he finally found Jarrell in the kitchen, pantry eating pretzels. <laughs> oh, he found them, dude. He was... Hey, what are you doing in there, man? Okay, so he found this dude eating pretzels. It kind of sounds like me, man. You, like, hiding and eating at the same time. Dan and Jarrell went back to the living room and yelled for everyone to come out. Okay, so here they are in the living room. Telling everybody else to come out, even though he has to search for them. Everyone came running back into the living room. They were having so much fun. All right, this seems like a nice party, a nice gathering here. My God, now I want chips. Thanks a lot, Dan, for your party. Okay, they all started talking about where they were hiding. They laughed and laughed. Okay, wait, where's the wife? The wife is missing, yo. Have they not noticed? After a few minutes, they noticed that Melanie wasn't there. Oh my god, where's Melanie? You're not Melanie, you're an imposter. You're Anna. Okay, it's kind of close, Emily, Anna. That's a little too close. Okay, uh, everyone began shouting her name. Melanie, you can come out now. But there was no answer. Oh my god, what happened to Melanie, yo? Oh my god, okay, this is getting fishy, guys. They were all getting nervous now. Okay, let's split up and look for her, Dan said. They all agreed and went to look for Melanie. Okay, so they're gonna split up like in uh what's that cartoon called? Could we do? They're all gonna take squads and go search for Melanie. Oh my god, Jason's right there <laughs> lurking. Oh my goodness, okay, it says they searched every square inch of the house but could not find Melanie. Oh my god, okay, so where could she have gone? Okay, so they're here they are searching for her under the bed. She's not there in the cabinet. She's not in the cabinet either. Where could she have gone, guys? Oh my god, okay, um, Jarrell and Grace even looked in the attic, but Melanie was nowhere to be found. Okay, um, that is a creepy mannequin up here. <laughs> oh my god, the dude! <laughs> okay, so they can't find Melanie anywhere. It's just getting strange. Melanie's parents just got home from their night out. Dan told them everything. Okay, so they're the parents. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on here? I think he's stuck. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so Melanie's parents look very fancy and elegant. Got a tuxedo and she has like a Cinderella dress on. Okay, an hour had already passed, so Melanie's parents decided to call the cops. Okay, so uh, it's been quite some time since Emily has disappeared. The police searched the entire property and questioned everyone, but there was no sign of Melanie anywhere. Oh my god, okay, so the cops have arrived. And they're questioning everyone. Because Melanie's still gone. Okay, they made a full report and put on an APB but said that there was nothing else they could do at this time. They slowly left the house. Okay, so they just put a report out for Melanie that she's like missing or whatever. Wait, is that Melanie? What is she doing? No one ever saw or heard from Melanie again? 
Oh my god, poor girl. Okay, Dan blamed himself thinking that maybe Melanie just didn't want to marry him. So perhaps she ran away. Oh, poor Dan. No, Dan, don't don't let your thoughts get to you, my boy. Oh my god, okay. Uh, so it seems like Stan is getting depressed or like sad over this. Okay, 15 years later, Dan was a very successful architect, but he never got over Melanie. Oh my god, okay, so 15 years have passed. That is quite some time, you guys. And look at his house. It's so nice and fancy. Okay, uh, poor Dan. He can't forget about his lover. <laughs> okay, the one day Dan's mother called him, she told him that Melanie's parents were selling the house. Oh no, I don't think he's gonna be too happy to, to hear about that. His heart was broken, but then she told him something terrible. Uh-oh, don't tell me they found her. She told him that when Melanie's parents brought in a moving company to pack up all her things, they found something. Oh my god, what could they have found? I don't know, man. Okay, in the basement, they found a very heavy trunk. And when Melanie's parents unlocked it and opened it, oh my god, don't tell me she was hiding in there. And they got, like, locked and she couldn't get out. They found Melanie inside. That was where she was hiding. The trunk lid must have locked when she had gotten inside. Oh no, poor Melanie. So she was trapped inside that trunk the whole time? Oh gosh, okay. A Dan collapsed and began to cry. The one place they did not check was the basement. No one had ever hid there before. Yeah, because who goes to the basement, man? It's creepy. You're the attic. I would never hide in either places. Gotta be crazy, man. Dan imagined poor Melanie calling out for help from the trunk inside. Dad, help me, Dan. But Dan never came because he couldn't hear her. Dude, okay, uh, I don't know how Dan is gonna take this. I mean, if I was in Dan's situation, I would have felt like it was my fault too. Dan has nightmares about Melanie and the trunk all of the time. He can hear her screaming for him to help her. Oh my god, that is scary, yo. Oh my god, wait, what is that? Oh, it's a jump scare. Oh my god, it's like a skeleton inside well, on top of the trunk. Dude, that is freaky. Oh my god, okay, let's keep going. Well, that's it. Don't forget to visit our other attractions, the Golden Arm and the Passenger, which we have done both already. And they're pretty awesome, so let's go over here. Okay, this brought us back to the lobby. What's up, my boy? Okay, let's see what this guy has to say here. What? Is, what? He doesn't even have anything. Okay, join our group. Uh, Join the Scary Stories Ride group for coming uh, upcoming updates and stories and more. All right, I need to join this group, man. I haven't joined it. I'm slacking. Okay, so they just takes us... Oh, the teleports is back to the lobby. So that's pretty neat. Let's go check out the upcoming ones coming soon. Okay, coming soon. I see you. I really want to do that one. That one looks crazy. It looks kind of creepy. And then we got the babysitter. Oh my god, there's somebody back there. All right, well, poor Melanie, man. All they wanted to do was play hide and seek. And like, I wonder why she chose to hide down there in the basement. If she knew that nobody would like, would even go down there. I don't know, man, but rest in peace, Melanie, man, and poor Dan. We might never know if he would, like, get over her or not. Well, that was Hide and Seek, you guys, in Roblox Scary Stories, right? If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Maggie was so excited about going to her senior dance at the high school. She could hardly contain herself. Okay, so as we see here, Maggie is getting pretty because she's about to go to the dance. So let's see how that goes. As soon as she was ready, she grabbed her sweater and ran out front. The girls would pick her up soon. Okay, so she's ready. She's waiting for her friends outside of her house. She was ready to leave to the dance. Before she knew it, the girls were there. She jumped into the car and off they went. All right, so her friends came for her. Hey, oh my God, it's a full car. So they're all going to the dance. Seems like they're about to have the time of their life. Okay, everyone was so excited. They rushed into the school and straight to the gymnasium to see the decorations. Okay, so we're at the school right now, guys. Everybody just arrived. Dude, that's a nice school, man. That's a high school. I think it looks like a college or something. Okay, so there they are. Oh, okay, we're in the high school dance. The decorations were wonderful.